it takes a week or two for the steroids to work. But they don't. Should they do be better by then? They actually, they actually work much, much quicker than that. You know, so this is what I was going back to. Is this yes, is actually yes, ju yes, just, point. just like dermatitis in the skin? If you apply, you know, they're they're strong. They're very efficacious corticosteroids that are used in nasal sprays. Okay. If you put them in within seven to eight hours, there's a response. And mm -hmm. after after two to three weeks, if you haven't had any response then you've yeah. got the diagnosis wrong. But it takes about two or three weeks to, to get a, a significant response because you, you're turning off all the primed mediators that involved in the allergic cascade. Yeah. But you'll actually see a response much, much earlier than that. There, there, there's certainly a perception, I, I think, and certainly amongst pharmacists too, that, that intranasal corticosteroids take a long while to work, and well, I, I think the reality is quite three weeks, they, they well. I mean, I, I think as as Richard mentioned, they, they start to work immediately. Maybe the optimum be benefit isn't uh, kind of derived for uh, a few days, and 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 maybe you need to use them for a couple of weeks to to make sure that they are the appropriate uh, uh, treatment. So, but what would you what additional well, treatment would you be recommending as a pharmacist across those few days, John? Uh, well, often we would recommend a uh, an antihistamine nasal spray or, or a decongestant spray just for a couple of days with, with the nasal, intranasal corticosteroid. So the two together. And, um, and then um, subsequently, you know, after a couple of days, we would stop the decongestant spray. And we would probably... After a couple of days? Yeah, yeah, two or three days okay. maximum. But, yeah. continue, continue with the intranasal corticosteroid. And what do you think about that group of patients who say, look, unless I take a daily antihistamine, my allergies are just hell, but I, well, I'm good with my, with my inhaled nasal steroids, but I absolutely need the antihistamine too. Yeah. Look, I, I, I think that's fine. I think if, if they believe they need an, an oral antihistamine, um, then I, I don't see there's a problem in, in taking that as well. Um, but I think the important thing is to instruct them to use that intranasal corticosteroid spray properly and make sure that adherence is appropriate. And that's uh, probably a good, how do you instruct them to use it properly? Well, uh, that, that's true. Um, um, I, I think if the, nose, no, if, the nose, if the nose is already congested, uh, and sometimes it is when they come in for treatment, it's all blocked up. I think certainly a decongestant spray initially to open up the the uh, uh, the airways there uh, is is appropriate uh, to wait for a few minutes before the intranasal corticosteroid. So that would be the first few days, if you like.